guys. Today we are going to be talking about um, teenage acne, teenage skincare routines, what to do, what not to do, and all that stuff. So let's get into it. My name is Nicole and I'm the owner of Luna Life, a handmade natural skincare uh, product based business here in London, Ontario, Canada. So if this is your first video with us, thanks so much for joining. Roger, my dog is here beside me always assisting in the facial room and on the videos. <laughs> so teenage acne, either you have it, you are a teenager and you're watching this video, or you are a parent of a teenager and wondering how to guide them on this journey. Um, it's not easy because I think at this age, teens are influenced more by their friends than their parents. And that's hard because Friends at that age don't often make the best choices, especially when it comes to skincare. It's a lot of experimenting. It's a lot of what's trending, what's on TikTok, um, and not necessarily what's best for your skin. So when they're going through these changes in their skin at this age, a lot of things are happening internally, um, growing changes, hormones, etc., that are going to affect the skin. Um, Basically, your outsides are a reflection of your inside. So your skin, hair, and your nails are all a reflection. Your eyes, um, under your eyes, like how nice and juicy it is down here. Your tongue. All of these things are reflections on how healthy and how balanced things are internally. So when you think about it like that, then you know a lot of the work that you're going to need to do is going to be internal versus external. Um... Keep in mind, if you do go to a doctor or a dermatologist, they might want to prescribe you medications or harsh products for your skin, or not even harsh, just products that say gentle, but are filled with fragrance and alcohols and things that are just going to dry your skin out so that no oil is allowed to um, form on the skin. And oil isn't necessarily the culprit. It isn't the end all to be all of the reason why breakouts are happening. So do your research. Even here in this video, don't always trust the experts um, and be intuitive with your solution. It makes sense that your outsides are a reflection of your insides. So that being said, diet and lifestyle are number one. Don't go to sleep with your cell phone right in your face. Um, don't be looking at your cell phone up until the time you go to bed. It's not good. The light is very, very bright. So it's not going to help you get a good sleep. The light in your cell phone can mimic the sunlight so your body is not being told yet to make melatonin, the sleep hormone. So you might be awake for a long time, longer than you need to. And beauty sleep is a thing. Your body does need a regular time of waking and sleeping with a circadian rhythm of the earth um, to be healthy because a lot of things depend on that regular consistent rhythm to be made and be released in your body, neurotransmitters, hormones, and things like that. So sleep is number one. Um, along that program of lifestyle, regular exercise, like even just walks, some kind of daily fresh air. We cannot be stuck inside our house where the air is generally just like the same kind of rotating air. It's unhealthy for your skin. Um, please get outside, get sunlight on your face. Early morning or evening sunlight is best. Um, get some fresh air and exercise. You also want to keep things moving in your body. Movement is good. Movement is needed for the detoxification system in the body. So exercise is really important. If you feel like you have a lot of stress in your life, managing that somehow is going to be important. Whether you journal, whether you go to a boxing club, whether you dance, paint, something to help release your feelings because stress always shows up on the skin. Stress is like the number one culprit of skin inflammation, skin imbalances, breakouts, psoriasis, eczema, all that stuff. It's not always the cause, but a lot of times it is the cause. So finding ways early in your life to help combat any stressors are gonna be very important. And of course, eating as many whole foods as you can. Oh my gosh, I know it's easy to be influenced by what your friends are eating, but stay away from that crap at the mall Fast foods, just gross. It's not going to do anything for your skin. It's going to make everything worse. Um, if you can limit your dairy intake, that is the best. 
dairy, the molecules are very large, so it's harder for us as we get older for our body to digest that. That's why a lot of people are lactose intolerant or have reactions to it. And that's why there is that lactose enzyme that exists to take with any kind of dairy to help break it down. So of course, um, goat's milk is going to be a better choice or sheep's milk, sheep's yogurt, things like that. If you are going to have dairy, please choose organic so you know that it's clean. Um, and on that note, also be mindful of the other milks like MYLK that are out there because a lot of them do have ingredients in them that can cause inflammation. Um, to, these ingredients help to bind and thicken like almond milk, oat milk. Um, I would not do soy milk and things like that. They help to thicken it, but they can also cause a lot of inflammation in our gut. It's very easy to make your own nut milks at home. You really just need like your nut of choice and water. That's it. Um, there's lots of recipes online. It's super easy peasy. So if you do like that kind of stuff, uh, read the ingredients um, and limit your sugar, of course, and eat regularly. If you can take snacks with you to school, sugar increases inflammation in your body, which will show up on your skin. So be aware of that. It's not like a direct link, but it's an indirect link to inflammation, which causes breakouts. Um, and try to eat as much like fresh, whole fruits and veggies and real foods as you can. That is the number one advice. Drink lots of water. Please stay away from pop. And what's that? Like energy drinks. I don't know. I'm just afraid my heart's going to explode on one of those. <laughs> so don't drink those. This is all advice for your skin, your hair, and your nails. Um, yeah. Honestly, I believe so much on feeding your body what it needs to look your best um, products will only get you so far, right? So when it comes to a routine, oh, actually supplement wise, of course, I'm not a doctor, so this is not direct advice for everyone to take, but think about a nice healthy omega to help uh, lower inflammation and keep everything nice and juicy. A B vitamin complex is great too. It helps to combat stress and it is the beauty vitamin, um, and a probiotic. So those are really good ones. Uh, chlorophyll or spirulina, the nice really dark green kind of supplements, powders, or liquids. Um, they are very alkaline in their structure and alkalinity um, always brings down inflammation in the body. So the more alkaline your diet is, um, the less inflammation that you will possibly have. Okay, so when it comes to a routine, simple is best, less is more. Use what's appropriate for your age. I say that in the way of please stay away as if you're a teenager from like a vitamin C serum, a retinol, um, like a harsh, a harsh, a harsh AHA or BHA kind of exfoliant. None of those are needed for your skin. Your skin is so fresh and new. Um, those kinds of things are going to be very drying and very irritating to you. So let's just keep it simple right now. They will not improve your skin. Likely they will make it worse. So stick with a good cleanser, a good toner, a good serum, and a moisturizer. In the summertime, you might um, not need a cream or a moisturizer over top. You might be okay with just a serum, but in the colder months, you really do need something thicker to lock everything in and allow everything to penetrate and really do its thing. Um, you wanna do this twice a day if you can. If nothing else, at least at nighttime, do a real good cleanse. In the wintertime, I, I really do most things just once a day at night. In the morning, I'll spritz with a toner and then apply a serum and a cream. I won't necessarily wash my face again. In the morning though, I will always wake my skin up with a dry brush. It takes like 30 seconds. It's one of the best tools for you right now at your age or for a teenager. And you just start at your neck with little circles and you're just brushing your skin up and all the way around. This is gonna stimulate everything that your body body has gathered from sleeping, right? Sleep is when your body actually has time to rest, repair, and restore. So it's busy working on um, anything that needs to be de detoxed out, anything that needs to be kind of stitched up and reworked in the body. You are sleeping, you are not digesting, so your body has time to focus on that. So this is waking up your lymphatic system, which is kind of the garbage system of your body it collects bacteria, viruses, and pathogens, which is why sometimes your lymph nodes get nice and big, and then it carries it out of your body. So this gently wakes it up, 
which means that it's going to wake up anything in your skin that needs to disperse from the body, any kind of things that are causing inflammation. It also really helps to even out skin texture. So nice before makeup application. This is like a cloud. It's super soft and it's a real gentle way to exfoliate if you do feel like you have sensitive skin. So in the morning, I would do a quick dry brush and then I would do the toner, whether you just spritz it on or you take the whole top off, put it on a cotton pad and wash your face with that. I love to do that. It, it does a really good job, especially because generally you've cleaned your face really well at nighttime. There's not a lot that's going to happen from then until the time you wake up. So a lot of times this is enough. And then for you, I would recommend our aloe shroom which is a gel based water based product great for all skin types especially acne prone one or two pumps is going to be enough it dries right away apply it with a little bit of water so it really spreads nicely and then i would finish it off with our smooth and restore face cream a little bit you do not need a lot this should last you quite a few months and then you're good to go of course, if you're going to be out in the sun and you don't wear a hat or anything like that, I would do a little bit of sunscreen on your face and your neck um, and your hands if you really like. And that's it. For nighttime, I would do that same routine. But as a cleanser, I would use either our soap bar. We have two. This is our Spirit of the Earth soap bar. And our other is the original with a bit of apricot shells in it to gently exfoliate. Both are lovely. Um, they are not drying at all like your regular commercial soaps. They're full of hydrating oils and butters. There's no alcohols or drying agents. So your skin shouldn't feel extremely dry after using this. If it does, then you might have very dry and dehydrated skin. And in that case, I would oil cleanse with a classic oil cleanser, um, not coconut oil or anything like that, or a mineral oil that will just lead to inflammation and clogged pores. Our triple threat is what everyone uses from our line to oil cleanse with. If you find that your skin is very dry after using one of our soaps or a natural soap, I would oil cleanse. It's beautiful. There is a video on our Instagram or our um, website on how to do that. It takes like a minute and oil attracts oil. It will not make you break out. I promise as long as you're using something formulated for oil cleansing and not just a random oil, then you are good to go. After that, at nighttime, I would do a toner. Again, I would take the lid off, put it on a cotton pad, wash your face essentially with a toner, and then apply the aloe again and our face cream. Um, or you could use um, the aloe and a serum like our liquid gold, our triple threat, and then a face cream if you find that you truly have still very dry and dehydrated skin. Now keep this in mind, right now as a teenager, your main kind of goal is to restore the moisture barrier and keep your skin happy. You don't want to strip oils. There's not a lot of people truly in this world that have truly oily skin. A lot of times acne and very overly active oily skin is from your body searching for those missing oils. So it's creating more to keep that lubrication, that protection of the skin. So know your skin type and your skin condition. Um, if you really do have dry skin, add an oil serum in at night. Of course, all of these things, a little bit of water should be adding for the application. Your oils do need water for that transdermal um, absorption, so that's really important. Don't apply things to dry skin. You really won't get a bang for your buck. And then once a week, I would exfoliate with something gentle. We have our sandalwood brightening powder that has papaya enzyme in it. Papaya is an active ingredient. So once a liquid hits it, it's going to start to kind of eat away at dead skin cells like a Pac-Man kind of would. Imagine that. Stay away from really harsh, big like granules um, or on the back of, you know, the ingredient list. A lot of things that you just see alcohol, fragrances, colorants are things that you don't really understand. Um, you don't need to strip the layer of your skin or have like a new layer of skin with peels and lasers and things like that. If you start those things this young, that is just kind of a recipe for disaster. So less is more. Keep it simple. Exfoliate once a week. You could mask once a week with something really nice. Um, even in the wintertime, honey is perfect. Something simple. Um, you don't need all these really expensive things and expensive gadgets to have beautiful skin. You just need to be consistent and use products that work for you. Um, and nourishing products. So just like nourishing foods, you need really nourishing products. So a mask, 
You could use our sandalwood brightening powder with water, herbal tea, or honey. Leave that on for like five minutes or so, or you could just use straight up honey. That's very, very beautiful. Um, you could use a st spot treatment if you have like a really stubborn breakout that just keeps coming up. Our product literally called spot treatment is miraculous when used just one little drop overnight. You'll see a huge difference. Um, and I think that's it. Food, diet, lifestyle comes into huge play, being consistent with your products. Stay away from trending products. Stay away from, you know, TikTok things. Stay away from too many masks. Stay away from too much exfoliating. Less is more when it comes to your skin. I promise you, I've treated so many people. I've done so many facials. I mean, this is my livelihood. We've been in business for 15 years and I've helped a lot of people with their skin. Um, and I can truly 100% say less is always more and using the more nourishing uh, products with less ingredients and starting with your diet is huge. Okay, that's it for me. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, email me, leave a comment below or send me a message. I love you guys. Happy New Year and I'll see you next week.